The Artificial Retina The artificial retina, also called a bionic eye or a visual prosthesis, is an electrical implant that is surgically inserted into the eye. It improves light sensitivity and creates a sense of vision for people who have advanced vision loss caused by RP or AMD. What is an artificial retina? The retina is the part of the eye that senses and sends light signals. It is made of many different cell types, which all play a unique role in vision. Photoreceptor cells sense light and start an electrical signal. The signal is passed through a middle layer of retinal cells, the optic nerve and finally to the brain, where an image is formed. Damage or loss of photoreceptor cells causes vision loss. A retinal prosthesis acts as artificial retina. It works to replace the function of photoreceptors that have been lost during retinal degeneration. Using components like cameras, computers and electrodes, the prosthesis captures light and converts it into an electric signal. This signal goes to the brain and creates a new simulation of vision. This is different than an implanted lens or a low vision device, which tries to maximize a person's existing vision. Who is suitable for it? Artificial retinas are for people who are blind or have only minimal light perception, but who once had sight. All of the prostheses currently being studied require a developed visual cortex. The part of the brain that processes light signals to form images. This means that users need to have been able to see previously for these devices to work. They also require a healthy optic nerve to work. These devices have been tested on individuals with advanced RP. If successful, the devices may be a treatment option for many patients. How will they restore the vision? The artificial retinas do not fully restore sight, but can produce some visual sensation. Users may be able to distinguish between light and dark and recognize shapes. For example, people have been able to recognize a doorway or the shape of a person, or in some cases can tell the difference between a fork and a spoon. Retinal prostheses provide a simulation of sight. This means users have to relearn how to see and train their brains to interpret this new kind of information. The results can vary widely from person to person. How do the artificial retinas work? Just as there are different kinds of smartphones, there are different types of artificial retinas. Retinal prothes include both internal and external components. External components may include glasses, tiny computers, and power supplies. Internal components can include electrodes or microchips. The internal part of the retinal prosthesis can be placed in different parts of the retina. Most are surgically placed on the retina surface or just outside the retina. Argus 2 Artificial Retina The Argus 2 is an example of a retina surface prosthesis. It is composed of a tiny microchip implanted on the front of the retina and a mini camera embedded in glasses. The camera captures images and converts them to electrical impulses sent wirelessly to the electrodes. The impulses stimulate the retina's remaining cells, which send messages to the brain. The brain then interprets these messages as an image. Over time, patients can regain some functional vision. The Argus II was also the only retinal prosthesis approved in the United States. However, in the last few years, the manufacturer has stopped supporting this device, meaning that it is no longer being sold in individuals who have the device may not receive support or repairs in the future. Ongoing research for artificial retina. Currently, there are four approved prostheses in Europe. The Argus 2, Alpha IMS, Alpha AMS, and Iris 2 Bionic Vision System. 
Other types of retinal prostheses are being studied in clinical trials around the world. Research is being done to create new devices as well as improving outcomes with existing devices. Prostheses are being refined to make the lifespan of devices longer. Improve quality of life with more powerful and smaller devices. Expand the field of vision, increase the number of electrodes, and improve clarity and sharpness of vision 